Hello, hello Tribes fans, and welcome to another cast today by the Tribes Cast Network. I am here on Penguin with Aya on camera and now joined by Sadistic or Sadstick. Hello everyone. It'll be my first time casting. Let's see how this goes. Yep, in if anything, just blame it on the rookie. Anyway, uh, we'll be casting Vertigo against Flamboyant, which is the semi-final of the UTL Pro League of the playoffs of course. Playoffs of course. This is a rematch of a group stage match that happened, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, Flamboyant ended up winning, despite being the underdogs. So uh, it was a 2-1, very nice. They uh, won Kata and Rydog while losing on Ark. So we'll see uh, what maps will we have here today. It looks like it seems to be Rydog first. And uh, we are playing on London servers. As uh, people say, I don't know, Amsterdam being being looked fine, so I don't know. Probably just doing it, you know, uh, to be completely sure. What else the, is new? Everybody always complains about ping. Yeah, well, to be honest, the one up against the flamboyant match that happened just earlier was uh, on Amsterdam without any noticeable ping spikes, except for maybe some warping from Kazu that I noticed a couple of times. But yeah, yes, for first map's gonna be Dry Dock, and uh, this map ended 6-5 with a very intense last minutes uh, for uh, Flamboyant in their first, uh, you know, in the first uh, encounter this season. So we'll see. We are stacking teams at the moment, it seems. So we'll just wait until everyone is here. So uh, yeah, apparently Knutson or Knutson, I always forget how to say it. It's is Knutson. Uh, Knuts Knutson Knutson? Damn, it's Swedish. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Okay, he is just uh, relieving himself. So we'll just wait for him. You know, no pressure. It's just the semi-finals after all, you gotta relieve yourself. Always end up waiting on Knuts, you know? Hell yeah, speaking of that, he is streaming on uh, his point of view, so if you want some uh, comp top-tier sniper point of view, go watch him on his stream. Slash Knutson, same for uh, Kenneth. Who is an offense slash camping and uh, Kangzai? Kenneth stream is MX Kenneth. Uh, Kangzai is just Kangzai. Looks and, like uh, they're about ready. They're, they're starting to move over now. Yep. Feel free to introduce Team Flamboyant Sadistic. All right, for Team Flamboyant is uh, Shrek, JPY, Kenneth, Jexaru, Fingon, Meller, and Kenzai. Also, don't get into the game. <laughs> get in the spectator. Whoopsie daisies. And uh, on Blood Eagle we have Yunis, uh, Bolsaft, who is Nutson, uh, M, Lee Chocolate, uh, Brain Damage, Atelier, and Shaz. And uh, with Sadistic briefly being part of Team uh, Vertigo for a sec, we now go into Te the def Technical difficulties. We now go into the defense with M on stand, uh, Knutson sniping with his uh, new smurf Bolsoft, who is now under fire by, uh, Mel by Melor. Uh, LD is uh, lead chocolate, Unis is capping, brain damage, Shaz. Shaz is double capping, I think. And some someone else who, well, stuff is happening, so rosters run down later with Kangzai out, but with no health whatsoever and trying to get shotgunned by someone. Or sniped, but misses, so Brock Pounce doesn't really work, and he is very low, so he opts for the punt. Vert, uh, uh, Vert's Eunice, however, is on the other side at the moment, and Lit retrieves it. So Eunice might cap this. Oh, there's some crash coming in. Mellor is gonna get the kill, but he gets killed himself, and Am's gonna grab it and 1 0 to Vertigo. Immediate re grab by Shaz. Uh, with very little health, but has a Tillion on with him, an infiltrator, so no no ability to punt, and gets killed, and that's a return. But uh, strong start by Vertigo on this one, and uh, the offense consists of uh, Shaz, brain damage, and a Tillion, of course. What are Team Pelican? Pelican flamboyant. Uh, the rules actually, Sansic. Hello, hello. Yeah, Ken. Raider, Meller being an inf. You got Shrek on uh, Scent. 
Jexer and Fingon soldiers. JP1 and Kenzai, uh, both radar and uh, jug. So JPY. Uh, Kenzai gone Pathfinder now, so. Yep, and another Pathfinder is Unis, who is now out, but with very little health, and one snap should do it, but I see Shrek has gone down. And, uh, yeah, Unis is basically back at his home. The flag got uh, returned, that's another cap for Vertigo. Very strong on this map, it seems. We saw Flamboyant being very dominant against 1-Up on this map, and now they are the dominees. The dominated ones? Yeah, definitely dominated. Well, you know, 1-Up uh, also, you know, d didn't have a sniper to be spotting, while, you know, Vert does. So they can definitely call out and spot the incoming capper much more than 1-Up would. Yep, and uh, Fingon gets a nice block on Yoni's, nice shot. Actually, and uh, Nutson just sniped out Kenneth, but there is still Kangzai who may be doing a raid route. Well, as soon as the game decides to switch. No, no, it's actually a soldier, and he has stuff to do, so they're gonna just wait for uh, a Kenneth route. And worth noting that Am has beautiful force fields, as the Jan hasn't gone down yet. Jan has a bit of less importance with this new rule set, but hold that thought as Yunis is out. How does yeah, the. Looks like, looks like uh, Kenzai is there trying to crash the stand, but gets stopped by Elite Chocolate and Thilene and Am. Yep, and Kenneth may get the retrieve, he gets it. Uh, brain damage was more concerned with bouncing the flag rather than grabbing it, so. Nice return by Kenneth and uh, a reset. We see a reset by both teams, but uh, Flam still on the back foot. And yeah, Vert's, someone... Vert's definitely holding their own against Flam. Not letting any flags out so far. Yep, exactly. And I think the the gen also needs to go down. Now someone has gone in down there, so... Or actually not, I think... Uh, no, that, was, that was JPY and he got taken down before he can actually access yep. the general. <laughs> Interesting fact with Am's name is that uh, it's so long that uh, the kill feed just shows Vert when he kills someone. <laughs> he's not M anymore, he's M. He's like a, a Tibetan monk, you know. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> we see she has some brain damage, killing everything, and she's just gonna. Uh, well, it looks like Muller and JPY are about to crash the stand, Kenneth coming in for a grab there. And he's out. Yep, uh, Unis tries to plant but... the flag. But it's up here, <laughs> so no one can get it at the moment, it's way too high up. Fingon is trying, but uh, slowly but surely, you know, too much energy to use. And Kangsa gets their first, uh, you know, in the face of Fingon. Yeah, and just is about to die, Kenneth punt the flag to JPY, trying to get it back to the stand. <laughs> brain damage! Brain damage! One health. one health on brain damage, and he managed to get the return very nicely done. Not chained out fast enough. Pings are fine, it is London after all, and... Uh, yeah, another reset. With the uh, Atelian here coming in as Pathfinder, uh, trying to get on. Uh, he actually stops Kangzai's route before it even started because of uh, because of a nice spawn. And uh, now we just wait for Unis or for Kangzai, I guess, or Kenneth to do their route. Uh, there's a lot of pressure coming, a lot of hurt coming on Fingon's way soon enough. Uh, Atelian is really low, so. Looks like units is about to gra go for the flag. Kenneth and uh, Kenza just got taken out, so they're gonna have to restart the routes. Yep, and Unis is crashing down. Fingon is still alive though, so if he spots him, he might get him. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done by defense. Uh, nice tandem uh, splash by Jextreru and Fingon. And now the flag uh, was moved a bit, but Jextreru. Oh, he goes down. Atilian will keep this alive. But he has uh, been sniped once, not twice. Passes it off to Shaz. Oh, JPY and Meller crashing the stand. Kenneth's coming in. And. Kenzai's out. That's 75% health. Yep, and the flag got dropped. Uh, Lit uh, is gonna pick it up, but uh, under a lot of fire. Bounce it away towards uh, Shaz. The bounce is good for Shaz, and there's uh, no one really crashing. They got shut down, so. We might move into a standoff here, as Fingon is under no pressure whatsoever. 
So yeah, uh, flamboyants will be setting up. Uh, it looks like uh, on the tower. Yeah, uh, we see Shrek already here, and Fingon's going there. So Shrek, Jack, Stereo, and Fingon will be on defense. And it seems like a classic uh, three defense, also coming from Vertigo with uh, M uh, Nutson in his ball soft uh, Smurf, and apparently Shaz is on defense. Okay. So Leet doing the offensive play this time, and uh, Vertigo setting up up on the big hill. Looks like Ken at Kenza and JPY trying to move in on the flag to get a return. Oh, but that return happened on the other side, and uh, now M just has to drop on the flag, but there's lots of blue here. Kenzai doesn't quite manage to get up there, but Kenneth will get, will get the ground. JP sneaking around. Oh, JP. Why did it show me Shrek at the other side? Oh, because he got the snipe. And JP... No, JP gets killed just in the last second. Eunice will grab it. Incredible. Almost a good return there. Yeah, incredible play by... Uh, Vertigo there, very nice shot, and uh, Jaxter Roo keeping this uh, this alive with uh, the e grab needs a big crash for, uh, from from uh, Flam now as Jaxter Roo is <laughs> climbing up the base, uh, up the hill slowly. Still a conk, and uh, Shaz gonna pick it up. Melor coming in, oh, snipe by Shrek, nice old snipes coming in, but uh, still needs more bodies here, more Flam crash as they're waiting for the time return. Yun is gonna pick it up. Kenneth's at the stand. Oh, Kenneth's alone. Kenneth is alone, has to hide in the gen, goes around. A conk doesn't get it. Definitely fighting the odds there. Yep, Kenneth against six people was not able to do much, as you would expect. But, you know, it's Kenneth. He can pull out miracles sometimes, but not this time, as it's 3 0 to Vertigo. Maybe, maybe Flam are a bit tired from playing one up earlier, but uh, I have. I don't know. It seems like their uh, their offense is crashing to stand a little too soon. Even Vert the chance to reorganize and deal with the capper. Could be, could be, and uh, I'm just gonna look a bit at the first stand here to see their that offense offense crash in action. As Kangsai is about 15ish to 20 seconds out, so they'll have plenty of time to try and clear Knudsen, who is proving to be a real pain in the ass as, as usual. Uh, but he do he does go down eventually to Melor. So uh, we see now Kangsai coming in. Oh, Am is still up though, and he sorry. Uh, fly. I think he got the uh, bus launchered out of the way by Am. So nice play there. And on the other side we see Uni is on a route, and uh, I think uh, the offense just got shut down by Bird. So. And he's now uh, Yunis got spotted by Kenneth, who chains him uh, a bit and gets his region, so Yunis is not going to go anywhere. Just stops the flag and tries to kill someone, but fails. Atelian looks to be setting up a static. Yeah, he's dropping an inventory. We might see some static action on the flam flag stand anytime soon. Unless Jack who manages to get there before him. Always fun when the LD surprises an offense player on the inventory station, and now he's invisible. Well, Kenneth and, and JPY are engaging Leet and uh, Bullshap. Kenzai looks like he's getting ready to come in for a grab. And Atelian gets that infamous inf grab. And uh, the flag is in the midfield. Uh, Am is still there dueling out Kenneth. Kenneth wins, and uh, he needs to keep pick this up. Okay, decides not to. Fine. But Jaxter looks to get this. Yeah, he's gonna get this. He gonna get this. And Eunice is also out, so a very nice uh, chain grab by Eunice. Not really a chain grab as they didn't cap, but they will cap here, it seems. This little health, 120, but enough. Last snipe didn't do enough damage, not enough charge on the BXT. And that's uh, that's the fourth cap for Vertigo. Flam doesn't really have a, uh, a real answer to this. And uh, you see Kangzai now setting up a route. Let's see, Natsun is not in position to snipe at the moment, so but he will be there soon using that uh, nice BXT. Opting for mobility rather than uh, pure damage, pure instant damage. Uh, 
And yeah, uh, there's where is Kanks actually? I lost him. Damn it! Who is coming in now? Is Eunice who is very high and now uh, coming back down, sliding, and he goes. He gets it. Shrek gets a big snipe, but not enough damage. Might get there. Kenneth is coming down on the flag. Am the force fields go up? Janus, the gens are up. Kenneth is not uh, gonna grab it. It's, neither is Kangzai who's dead stops. Nobody wants to grab the flag apparently. We're just gonna try. Well, you know, Europeans never go for the e grab herder. Yeah, I heard that before. Yeah. Kenneth again trying to go against the whole team. And the unit's now jetting up, but he's gonna land on the flag and 5 0. Yeah, if yep. uh, Flam doesn't do something fast, uh, <laughs> they're not gonna fare very well for their first match here against yep. Vert. Time is ticking, and uh, the semi-final, the, the ticket to the finals is also uh, slipping rapidly out of their hands. They still can uh, manage to pull something out on this map, but uh, they will need to win the next two if they lose here. Well, I mean, 12 minutes here on uh, dry dock is plenty of time to catch up. You just have to reorganize and keep their flag in base long enough for a cap. Yep. Also, we see a strike by Atelian who has taken a lot of damage and goes down now by virtue of Kang's eye. Meanwhile, Flam has uh, grabbed the flag with uh, JP in what I assume was an inf grab, and uh, Eunice is out but gets killed very easily. However, they might be keeping it alive. They didn't opt for the return, and Tillion pop up there, uh, but JP is going to get there before brain damage. But yeah, I mean, it's certainly doable. I mean, uh, back to back caps are uh, not unheard of on Drydog, especially after you can just chain grab it with a nice route or a nice slide. But. That uh, that is where the, uh, when the half is off the stand or just you know when the half isn't am with that force field there. So JP is now gonna take down the gens. The uh, biggest thing I see is they need to start shutting down units because he's the one that keeps getting out with the flag. That and their offense needs to coordinate a little more with the the capper because they keep going in a little too early and then starting to engage and uh, leaving their capper with uh, no uh, no way of getting out. Yeah. Speaking of cappers, I think Kangsa just uh, messed up his route as he stopped on the tower. So he's now gonna go for a static with no health and gets killed by M, <laughs> who just respawned. Eunice coming in for another grab here. He does get it, and uh, he gets chained out very rapidly. Yeah, nicely done by the, the entire flam team was in front of him and they just chained him out with all the bullets. Yeah, they, spared, they definitely didn't spare any ammo on them. Well, you know, you just K out and you get the full new set, so Wilder Zone is pretty cheap with ammo. Also, they're using some uh, pew pew kind of blasters from Star Wars, so, you know, th that stuff never runs out. But these players have better aim than Stormtroopers, that's for sure. Well, Stormtroopers tend to miss a lot, so. Yeah. I don't know how valid that point is. Well, they're good players. They can shoot, hit better than uh, than the Imperial Storm Stormtroopers, who are apparently very precise sometime, according to Obi-Wan. Anyway, stop with the Star Wars jokes. It's <laughs> time It's time for tribes. It's time for units to come down and uh, onto the flag very quick with 230. Well, not that quick at all. But, and get bu gets, bu get, gets bust by the bus launch Fingon and now Shaz is out but gets killed as well and the Meller's gonna hurt this. What's going on on the other side, sad stick? Looks like JPY tried engaging Leet, Leet and Nam. Didn't work too well. Kenzai going in for the grab. But uh... <laughs> quickly conked. Yeah, and all of this resetting is not working well for Flam as they need something right now. They need us some straws to... To pull. The analogy is not really working, so I'm just gonna say that Yunus is on a route and uh, about 10 10 ish seconds out gets spotted. Not snipe though. M snipe misses, second snipe misses. Shrek doesn't connect quite now, he connects. Still some chain coming in towards Yunus uh, who. Uh, oh, nice, nicely, nice Titan from the side from Fingon. 
Very nicely done. And now body blocks a Dillion as well. Finger nice. with the M MVP see plays. Ken see Kenzai coming in for a route there. He's been spotted by the sniper. There's he should be chained out here. Yeah, yeah. Ken Kenzai goes down to some chain fire. Melor is trying to get the grab, but uh, gets shut down by Elite Chocolate on the stand. Elite, Ch Elite Chocolate and Am been working pretty well together. They're not letting those, that flag go out at all. Yep, and Natsun has not been to Shabiak, uh, by the going by the kill count. I mean, we see some big, uh, big numbers with the frags on both teams actually, so pretty even. But uh, the flags are getting out more on Flam's side, so you know, Unis with those routes, pretty hard to stop. Also, when Atelian decides to go for the Ethic strategy, aka the Eve grab, it's kind of hard to stop. Especially on this map, there's so many directions you can possibly come in for the flag from. Yep, uh, Kangzai now, Kangzai now manages to get get past everyone. Am um, doesn't spot him until it's too late. Uh, there's big snipes coming towards him, but uh, not enough. So this might be a first cap unless Yunus gets the grab and he does. Now, oh, now it is... Oh, oh, Kangzai. He tried to pass it to Stan, but uh, it bounced nicely towards Shaz, who got a very nice return. Yeah, it doesn't look like they'll be able to stop Yunus from capping this flag too. No, JP is too far away. 6-0 six, six to, to Vertigo. And I'm beginning to regret my decision to bet on Flam. Whoops. <laughs> Imagine if it were real money. Yeah, at least it's, you know, just fake Shaz bucks. Or Shaz Euros, as we should call them, because NA Tribes has their own Shaz bucks now. Goddamn Americans. Stealing our cu our currency and stuff. Anyway, Kenneth is still in a shrike, still uh, bringing the pain to Am. But uh, you know what uh, what comes around goes around, and now Kenneth is gonna eat a lot of chain from everyone. Fidgeting the shrike is a pretty common thing to do, and uh, we do see Melor here at dueling out Kang's. Oh, uh, it looks like units just did a back to front. Grab on the, the fl uh, flam flag there and gets the yet another cap. Yep, nice kill. That brings uh, it to seven zero. Nice kill with the strike bullets by Kenneth, but Am was there to grab it and there was no way stopping him. So that's a bit of a whitewash by uh, by Vertigo on this map. So uh, I'm curious to see what map does uh, does Flamboyant pick. Seems like Flam got to taste a bit of their own medicine on Dry Dock here. Huh? Yeah. After they uh, they beat uh, one up convincingly, now they're uh, they have been themselves beat quite convincingly by Vertigo. And uh, when you look at the kill counts, we see they're pretty even still. If you add them up, I'm sure it will be something like crazy, like uh, you know, same numbers and stuff. And now we're just waiting for the map to be confirmed. Well, we'll see how Flam changes up their strategy to you know counter Vert. It also seems like Vertigo. I mean, on the first match they played against uh, against Flam uh, a couple of weeks ago in the group stage, maybe they were a bit too cocky, didn't practice as much. But after they were beaten on Drydock as well, they uh, seem to have put a lot of effort in. And it's showing in this game, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, we're on CCR at the moment. I'm not sure if that's the map. Probably not, but we'll see. Although you could make a case for CCR, I mean, the KK partnership between Kangsai and Kenneth on Double Cup, it's pretty strong. Even though they lost against Pelican this map, so who knows. Oh, you know, Flam still has two, two, ma two rounds to go, and if they get their act together, they can still, you know, bring it home and get the win. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it seems like they're thinking about which map to pick, which is understandable. I mean, this map uh, could be their undoing, or could mean that they still have a chance to get into the grand final. DX. We will see Flamboyant on DX again. And uh, I guess Vertigo will pick a side anytime soon.
just waiting on the sides to be confirmed so our wonderful streamer can just flip them around if needed. Oh yes, my anti, my perceived anti-Americanism being uh, called out in chat. And uh, Vertigo picks Demon Sword, so I think you have to flip them. Yeah, so we're gonna see Drydock and DX again, uh, twice tonight, so let's hope we get to a third map so we get to see another map. But yeah, rosters looks to be the same, but uh, we're just waiting for a couple of more people to connect, and uh, I'm sure we're st we'll start shortly. Now, on this map, I will not be able to use his beautiful force fields, as, of course, all deployables are banned on the Dangerous Crossing. Well, maybe not. I think all. Yeah, it should be all, even the technician thingies. Motion sensors. Turrets are, of course, banned, always, and forever will be. At least they Well, I mean, the flag is already protected enough. They don't need more protection. Yeah. And uh, now on Flamboyant, we see Shrek, Kenna, GX3, Rue, Mellor, JPY, Fingon, and Kangzai, no subs. What do we have on Vertigo, Sadstick? Vertigo, we got Leet Chocolate, Shaz, Eunice, Athelion, Am, Brain Damage, and... Oh, it looks like I, that's it. Natsun, who... C cannot... Yep, Natsun with his smurf, confusing caster since 2013, and uh, as as before, Lee Chocolate will be roaming, and will be on stand, and uh, Natsun will be sniping for a vertigo. As Yuni's uh, Tillion and brain damage on offense, Yuni's of course capping. And Flamboyant will roll with uh, Figon on stand, JX3 on LD, Shrek on snipe, uh, who else is there? Kangzai and Kenneth uh, double camping slash offense and uh, Mellor. And who, uh, who is the fourth one? Come on. Show yourself, JPY. There we go. That's them rolls. And now we wait for the same them cappers as uh, Kenneth is inf at the moment, so he will be tasked with the, uh, with the task. God, I'm so amazing with wards, with the task of killing Natsun, which is not easy. And Natsun is O-sniping at the moment, so... <laughs> Kenneth's gonna sneak up behind him. Oh, Kenneth, oh, Kenneth. Doesn't go for the melee, goes for the throwing knives. Connects with two of them, and gets chain addressed. However, brain damage is out already. Um, they're not waiting for their cap, or they just go with the cluster play. Nice punt towards Unis and... Till nobody picks it up though, and GX3 is in front of everyone, doesn't get its chance with the last minute kill. And now Yunis picks it up, and uh, we need some big crash now. Shrek is all sniping, Kenneth gets the flag, doesn't go anywhere though. However, the flag is bouncing around, and uh, no shit, Chaz gonna. Oh, Chaz doesn't have enough energy, drops it on the stand, and it goes out the other way, which is the worst thing that can happen on the X, but there's still no crashing coming, and Brain Damage is gonna cap it. 1 0 to Vertigo. Another strong start by Vertigo, and now Kangsa is coming in for Flam. Maybe he managed to clear with the Twin Fuser. No. Am so says... I just got tightened there. Uh... Tightened and then body blocked. It's like the Hoff Wombo combo. You got Cannon underneath the flag stand there. Coming around looking for easy kill. Well, according to some people, every kill with an Infiltrator is an easy kill. So, yeah. Yunis, however, doing the route, which is not so easy to do, but, you know, it loses a, a lot of speed, but still almost going 300, and gets nicely body blocked by Fingon. Those hugs, the, this, the graceful arms of Fingon, that could just crush you slowly, it's an amazing death. Painful, but amazing. And yeah, uh... As I start losing my uh, train of thought, which has yeah. uh, sailed at this point, because trains sail, and uh, Arx Busters fly towards the stand of M, who is now very low on health, and uh, Kangsa is coming in. 
still only JPY here, but JPY has cleared the M. Looks like and, Kendrick's uh, going in for an inf grab. He's out, full health. Yes, Kangzai got yeah. sniped. And Kenneth is out, gets another, it's another big snipe from, uh, two big snipes from Knutson, passes it off to Kangzai, nice meter pickup. A good play there from Kenneth, going in for the inf grab. Yeah, absolutely, after uh, the Capricorn got shut down, but now Atelian does the same. It's another big snipe, uh, but he's still there, and the flag gets dropped, so Shaz gonna get this in Brute, yes. And now, they need a big crunch, because Yunis has picked it up in midfield, and is maybe gonna... He, this champ's gonna pass it anytime soon? No, doesn't go for the pass. Jextraru is on the stand, but gets killed by Natsum. So, anytime Yunis is gonna cap this, yeah. 2-0 to Vertigo. It really Vertigo. hurt them. Vertigo's not giving Flam much time to breathe. They're just constantly on them, not letting them reorganize. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Vert, I mean, Flamboyant needed to uh, to keep that flag, and uh, they just uh, got wrecked, <laughs> to use that term, by uh, by the crash by Vertigo. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, they every everyone was there. They were banking on the on the keeping the flag, but uh, they didn't, and so uh, it was an easy. You know, uh, there were a lot of people. Uh, respawning, so it was easy for Vertigo to move the flag through midfield. And uh, let's see if they managed to do so as well with Unis coming in now, but stand is not clear at all. Fingon is there, full health, does oh, gets a big Titan shot, a nice Titan meter, but uh, Unis gets out with 88 health and will punt very soon. No, he actually gets chained out. I was expecting Another. a punt there. And Another Jester. made out with the flag, but getting chased down. And uh, looks like. Uh Bolsha, Saft, managed to get the return. No, actually not, as uh, Shaz grabs it, because uh, the, the bounce was awkward for Jextraru and Shaz managed to kill him. So now we need Kenneth Azim to get this, and he will get this. Uh, and uh, Yunis now passing it to M, so uh, Kenneth is buying time. Oh, Shaz almost picked it up, picking it up mid-air, but who does pick it up is Kangzai, who just throws it uh, up again. And uh, oh, flag is bouncing towards the vert side, Lee Chocolate, oh, Lee Chocolate's gonna get this! And Am's gonna cap this. 3 0 to Vert. Yeah, Flam needs to start putting some pressure there on uh, Vert, otherwise, this is gonna be over quite soon. Yeah, I mean, that's a very strong start. I mean, f barely five minutes have been played and already three cups up, and uh, it's not looking good for Flam. As uh, they're basically they're getting outclassed, that's the problem. The flag gets to midfield and they're not able to get the return in time, or they just, you know, Shaz is immediately there, uh, brain damage immediately there. It's just, you know, too many people in midfield and uh, great play by uh, Vertigo in the midfield on this one. So let's see if uh, Kenneth manages to get this inf grab that he. No, he's not actually going for it, so never mind. They'll, he will wait for Kangsai to try and get his grab. And speaking of grabs, Yunis gets it and uh, he's out and. Uh, and I uh, keep saying and, so why don't you take it away, said Stick. <laughs> well, Kenta just trying there for a grab, but he's going to get shut down by Leet Chocolate and Shaz. Shaz waiting for the right time to get the return. Another trying to go in, take out Leet Chocolate with some chain, but no go. Nicely done by Kenneth. Kenneth swoops in as an infiltrator, gets the last knife on uh, on the flag carrier and just gets to return me there. Also nice play by Miller before he got the grenade on the previous flag carrier, so... Good stuff coming in from Flam. Flam. I mean, Ver. Wait. Flam, Flam. is very Flam. Damn yes. it. I've been casting <laughs> for too long. My throat is going away. My brain is going away. I guess yeah, you just, could say. It's just have, the heat getting to you. Yeah, I guess you could say I have brain damage at the moment. Aha, uh -huh, I see what you did there. Yes. The jokes get lamer and lamer as more as I cast, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Oh man, and uh, what, <laughs> what do we see here? We don't see anything. There's so much going on and so little. Kangzai and Yunis spot each other as they're on a route. And uh, that's probably going to be the end for Kangzai if he gets uh, sniped by uh, by the big man himself, Nutson. Well, Doesn't look no like he was spotted. <laughs> Esports were about to happen, but uh, JP missed the, the pass. However, there is Kenneth an Infiltrator to grab it out of the field. And now getting sniped. Yeah, it, doesn't look, it, it doesn't look like he's going to get very far. Uh, there's, he has a lot of support here. There's a Tillian and he is Inf though, so they have to be careful now. Uh, Shrek 
throws it away again uh, towards Fingon. And there's a big crash coming in from Vert, who meanwhile have the flag at their base, so... They might actually have this if they return the flag. Yeah, and uh, flamboyant players, there's a lot of them in low health, but uh, I think uh, they're, we're safe for now, and uh, we can move into a standoff, I think. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be the standard 3D uh, for offense, and the Vert offense is already here. While uh, the Flam is... Uh, Kenneth is still is there, but uh, the rest are still uh, lagging behind a bit. Melor staying back as, uh, on defense as well for this run, trying to duel out Unis, almost kill him. Come on. They're both one shot and uh, Unis gets the last shot. Mm. Fingon also has been killed and Shrek is a bit alone here, so... Alone against Lee, that's never a good sign. Lee Chocolate trying to get some big hits, throwing grenades, not connecting, uh, getting chained out by Shrek at the moment. So, nice positioning at the Yeah, Thillian going to back up Leet there. Oh, and now Struck he goes down. Bounces. Will they get oh, the return? Misses the bounce. Oh, all down. They need to pick this up. Shaz and Atelian are still there. There's still Atelian there. No, oh, Shaz, Shaz down. Atelian. Atelian doesn't get the melee. No, and now just go. Just try and Atelian see. also goes down. The Jex are... Good play there by Flam. They definitely kept that flag. It was a bit hairy towards the end, but yeah, they managed to keep it, and uh, uh, round two, time for round two of this standoff, and uh, they're holding this flag, Vertigo are holding this flag really far away from their stand, like, when they get, or if they get the return, rather, it will be really hard uh, to immediately cap it, because uh, if Flam doesn't get the e-grab when, uh, or again, if Flam return, uh, Vertigo return this, I'll be very surprised. Oh, it looks like the Vert offense is at it again, chasing down Jexu, Shrek, and Fingon. Got Chaz, Athelion, Leet, Chocolate, and Yunus coming up on him. And yeah, the, the Flam office is already here. Uh, the flag gets passed to Knutson. And uh, can, he has the double K partnership on him. So, oh, he's actually alone. He uh, decides to pass it away. So now it's a race between Am, who the bounce favors. He misses the midair pickup, though. So they're going to get this return. And Yunus is immediately there for the e grab on the stand. Leet, Chocolate, Chaz, and Athelion going after Shrek here. Yeah, Leet Chocolate's on. down. Shrek's still under auto fire. He has Shaz and Atelian on him. But he has support from his teammate. Now Atelian is going on his inf. He doesn't go for the melee again. He just goes Shrek for the Shrek might actually knives. get chained out here. He might be able to kill Shaz, but he got Atelian right on him. Yeah, he goes for the punt. Uh, and uh, I think uh, there's enough flam people here to pick it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they... a return happened on the other side. Apparently someone got a really nice shot on Unis. And uh, JPY is there to try and cap it. The flag has returned. Yes, that's the first cap for a uh, Team Flamboyant on, in this series and on this map. Yeah, definitely good good plays there. Comeback is on. Never say never, right? Exactly. I think it's even a title of a Bond movie, so it must be true. Yes, 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 and uh, Yunis is just starting his route as well as Kang's eye, so it will be a while before we have anything happening. However, Atilin is on a route himself, so maybe a bit of cowboying attempt here. As he's coming into a full stand, but Fingon, Fingon now drops down on the flag. Uh, oh, gets big sh big shots on Fingon. Fingon gets a big titan on Atilin, but not enough. He hits him with the splash. Atilin yeah, pucks it. Yeah, he's providing a little support there from the spawn hill. Yep, and Yun is trying to pick it up me there, it doesn't succeed so, so he's now gonna try and keep this alive as he faces the flam crash with uh, Jaxter Roo getting big shots on him, Melor finishing him up. Ben JPY is swooping in, missing unfortunately, Kenneth there in inf, can Kenneth do this? No he doesn't, uh, he's on brain damage though, he managed to get the kill and gets killed by Shaz with the shotgun <laughs> in brute. So a lot of the things, uh, until he now trusts toward the flag and he's gonna get this, that's 4-1 to vertical. Oh, Kenneth almost had that return. It's close, but not close enough. No cigar, and Kangsa is gonna grab this, but gets chained out horribly. And JP is gonna try and keep it alive, but the flag is bouncing everywhere because it's a uh, dangerous crossing, and it keeps sliding, it keeps bouncing, and no dice there. But yeah, that was that was quite an intense uh, cluster, and Kenneth is gonna jump over Ams' head and uh, grab it without reach. Remember. And uh, he is taking some damage, but not quite enough. And now the snipes come in. 
and he needs to pass to JP, but there's a Tillion around, guys. There's a Tillion in if there's a Tillion, there's... Oh, JP picks it up just in front of him. Very close. That was very close. JP is still under a lot of fire. Brain damage is there, but uh, they managed to clean him up, so... Kangsa is going to pick it up again. Shaz crashing. Let's see if he managed to do something with this. Oh, gets a conk, but dies uh, because of the conk. Let's see. Well, needs to pick it up. I mean, they just have to bring it home. Keep yeah, that flag there, and they should have another another cap. Yeah, JP just needs to climb now. Oh, and Fingon stops Unis on stand. Oh, but the, the kill happens, and Fingon gonna pick it up, and they're gonna cap it anyway. And that's cap number two for Flam. Still Will they make a comeback? Well, it certainly is in the, within the realm of possibilities because still less than half the map, the map to play and uh, two caps, it's not impossible to come back from. Especially in a fast game like Tribes when, you know, you, could, uh, you, can, you can get three caps in three minutes or even less. But, alas, we have, uh, speaking of caps and cappers, we have Attilian and Unis running a... Uh, the same route, basically, one after another, very synced up, like one second, one after another. So Fingon's gonna have his workout out for this, and he gets double bounced out of the way. Uh, Tillon is out, has taken some damage, but uh, he is still out, and Melor in front of him, he should be able to chain him out. Yes, no, he gets, uh, Attilion gets the punt before he managed to do so. Well, Kenneth is in if there, Kenneth, oh, he doesn't go, he goes for the e grab. Apparently, Europeans go for the e grab as well. <laughs> but it doesn't, uh, oh, wait, it worked. As uh, someone got the return while I wasn't looking. Mallor. It, it looks like Mallor managed to get the return. Nice place coming out by him, and uh, the flag got returned as well by uh, by Vertigo, but uh, we're just resetting here. And JP trying to get the grab, but gets killed. So. Oh, Yun is setting up on a route here along. It's, uh. Exactly, and uh, we see Shaz and Atelian camping this hill. Atelian uh, is going to go down, not go down, down, but uh, go down and slide down in inf, and probably gonna go for the inf grab. Fingon is now on stand, he's not in heavy, he's gonna switch in the inventory. Big mistake, at the, I mean, poorly timed, and uh, Atelian is out with that. Yeah, out, one, out full health. Yeah, but uh, I mean, there's still Am on stand, but he's half health, so maybe they can clear him out. They need an e grab now. Am gets killed, JP is there, uh, JP is throwing everything at the stand, but uh, he's not able to get there in time for the grab. The flag gets passed to Eunice, who will just now thrust towards the flag. Oh! <laughs> he does Kenza trying for the e grab, <laughs> getting body blocked. Eunice gets eventually the fifth cut, but he thrusted uh, up and he hit the ledge, so that was pretty amusing. Also, would have been pretty deadly if uh, Kengzai managed to get out with that, but there were like three people on the stand, so. Not exactly easy. Especially in a cluttered stand uh, like DX, where you can get bounced pretty easily. And also, if you're a Hoff in there, they're just, you know, everything that is spammable will be spammed against you. You just have no hopes of being alive. Well, you do, but you know what I mean. Shoot in random direction, get a kill. Yeah, I'll just do the JP tactic, like throw throw fractals on the stand and hope that they kill uh, the Capro when the when he comes in. I gotta love the disco party. And Fingon manages to get the conk on Unis, so that's that run shut down. But uh, there might, well, of course, Shaz is gonna grab this as soon as I say that, and I didn't see him. Whoopsie Daisy. However, we do have someone out, and it's Kenneth and Inf, and he goes down. Melor gonna try and keep it alive, but Eunice is there to retrieve it. Flam needs some big confidence cap right now. They need to get one cap so they they will be more confident in the in the you know in the last minutes of the match, and then a couple more, so we can get into uh, overtime and maybe even the third map. Because as it stands, Vertigo look to be going into the grand finals. And uh, Vertigo hasn't let up on Flam since the beginning. From the get-go, they just started pressing Flam rear and not giving him any time to breathe. Yep, same as us, really. We don't really have time to breathe as casters. And uh, I mean, the, the frag count is pretty much the same, but uh, basically the difference is in uh, big plays, big flags coming out from Vertigo <laughs> compared to Flam. And the uh, Eunice is now. Oh, Eunice now gets. Uh, devastated in the face. 
Devastated? Yeah, let's go with Devastated in the face. And Atelian's gonna inf grab it because cheese. And he's now very low on health and gets conked by GX3 or Ru, or was that a pass? I don't know. And he, Yunis, oh, Yunis misses it. No, he doesn't miss it the second time. <laughs> but gets killed by JPY and he's now gonna get the return. However, where is Kangzai? Kangzai gets spotted by Atelian. And uh, if he wasn't, uh, he now is because he tried to chain him out. And he gets a big snipe and he's gonna go down on the stand. It's just, I mean,